Dr. Selvi, you just have a 13 weeks pregnant now and you've been noticing some of the common discomforts that women do in pregnancy. Can you tell us about some of them? Yeah, well I was feeling nauseated for most of the day initially. And the smell of food made me feel really sick. Sometimes in the morning I threw up, but I'm feeling much better now. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Did you get any advice from the midwife about how to cope with it? Yeah, yeah, I told the midwife at my booking visit and she gave me this booklet on pregnancy and what I can do to help. My midwife said it's more important to keep taking fluids than it is to have a solid meal. She said I could try to eat a dry biscuit before getting out of bed, to eat small meals more frequently, to try peppermint or ginger tea, and she also told me that it was important to tell the midwife or doctor if my vomiting was very severe or constant. I've also been noticing a lot of heartburn. Was there any advice you got for that? Yeah, so she told me to try eating smaller meals and some snacks in between, to try eating slower, to try having fluids between meals or before eating. I also needed to avoid foods that triggered the heartburn, which meant avoiding fatty, spicy and acidic foods as well as things like coffee, chocolate, fizzy drinks and alcohol. The midwife also suggested that I don't eat close to bedtime and she said that you would be able to tell me about some medicines to help if it was still a problem, but it's gotten a lot better now. That is important to let us know because there are medicines that can help if all those initial measures that you've mentioned aren't useful. Another really common thing in pregnancy is constipation. Oh yeah, that was really uncomfortable for a while. You probably know by now though, I guess, that there's a lot of things you can do, like eating high fibres, high grain cereal, brown rice, and don't forget, plenty of fluid. And of course, some, some regular daily activity is also really useful for that. So, Salvi, you've been experiencing some of the really common discomforts of early pregnancy. Anything else that you've recognised? Yeah, well, I've been noticing a lot of backache. Oh yeah, that is really common in pregnancy too, especially as the pregnancy goes on and your tummy gets bigger. You um, Certainly there's a lot more weight there that's going to put a strain on your low back muscles and lots more pressure on your pelvis. So backache is really common in pregnancy. Um, later on perhaps I can show you a few exercises, but right now um, we'll just talk about some common advice and good things to do for backache in pregnancy. For backache, regular moderate activities like walking or swimming are helpful. Good posture is really important, so try to wear shoes with low heels and try to stand tall. Try to avoid unnecessary lifting and bending, but if you have to, if you do need to bend, then be sure that you bend your knees and keep your back straight. Lie down to rest when you can, and when you do lie down, rest on your side and use some pillows to support your upper leg and your tummy. And if your muscles are sore, you can apply some warm packs. There's other things that you might notice as pregnancy goes on as well, um, things that you haven't noticed yet. So it's really common to need to go to the toilet a lot more frequently. You might notice increase in vaginal discharge. And as pregnancy goes on, it's really common to get cramps in your legs, varicose veins, even developing hemorrhoids. But all the things that we've been talking about today um, are in this pregnancy care booklet from Monash Health. So there's a lot of information in there. But of course, if you've got any concerns or worries, you, you need to come along and talk with your midwife or doctor. Great, we might move on now and do the examination. Okay. Lovely.